so this is video five of the Queen Revolve chess piece, the Revolve Queen chess piece, tomato, tomato. I've created these this um, scallop crown effect on one quarter of that plane, sketch number two. Now what I'm going to do is try and use this feature and pattern it around the rest of it. Um, I think that has saved me a little bit of time, and things can get pretty wacky if you try and create this all the way around. It's very possible. Many students have done it, but a lot of students have issues with it too, where it kind of, when it goes crazy, it goes bad. So let's try it a little bit different way this time. All right, since I am using this feature, okay, I'm going to use, yeah, get on my screen. I'm going to use this feature I just created. I'm going to highlight it, and then I'm going to go down to pattern and circular pattern. And note, I am not in a sketch right now. I'm not in a sketch. I am patterning not a sketch feature, but a 3D feature. So those are highlighted. It reflects under selected. For my axis, this is where I'm going to want to turn on sketch one, because my axis is going to be the same sketch we revolved around. And then the quantity that you choose needs to reflect, uh, needs to include the existing one. So that would be four of them. If I've done one quarter of it, I want four quarters. Now, if you look, that preview looks perfect, right? I think so too. So hit OK, turn off sketch one, and voila. The crown looks perfect. Now, I want you to look really closely at the crown. We need to make sure that these are tangent curves, that there's no extra pieces of material hanging out. Everything should be very, very smooth and crisp, and it should look perfect all the way around. Nothing should look different. They should all look exactly the same. If anything is different, then there were issues in your sketch related to uh, the sizes of your arcs or something else. But that is the queen completed. Now, like I said, there are different ways to do the crown, but I feel that is the easiest. That's why I showed you that way. If you want to do it a different way, by all means, as long as you get the correct product at the end, then I'm not going to fault you for how you got there. Because in CAD, there's lots of different ways to do things. All right, guys, good luck. I'm sure you can do this. It takes a little perseverance, but you are all totally capable of doing this.